Hey there, Judy Jamison the Psychic here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you four different ways to tune into or tell if you are a empowered versus unempowered empath and basically how to shift your energy from in the closet hermit mode, allowing toxic people to walk on you and take advantage of you to becoming what I refer to as a badass empowered empath meaning learn how to take no shit and don't feel guilty about it so if that interests you make sure you stick around and watch the video make sure you hang out till the end of the video because i have something for you to take things up a notch or enhance your um empathetic badass self if you're interested in it So if you are new here, real quick, and you have no idea who I am, my name is Judy Jamison. I'm a psychic. I teach intuition and psychic development to empaths to help them heal, power up, to be able to repel toxic people and relationships. So if that's cool with you and you're into that stuff, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button that is right underneath this button, and I'm going to give you a second to do that right now. Part of intuition and psychic development and healing from toxic relationships, um, more specifically narcissistic abuse, domestic violence, uh, stuff like that. When you want to develop your gifts, everything starts with you, your relationship with yourself. When you start to dive deep within yourself, because a lot of empaths seem to be programmed, I'll say, to put themselves last and put everybody else first. So there's a couple different things that you need to do. These are things that I personally did to shift from a very shy, introverted empath who just attracts attracted toxic relationships versus stepping into discovering your passion, your power, and flat out effing repelling those that don't match your energy or see you as a source of food and supply to siphon and suck off of you. So the first thing that you need to learn how to do is say no. How many times, sound, all this stuff sounds easy, right? I know, I've been there, done it. I live, eat, and breathe this stuff, been there. When you're an empath, saying no sounds easy, but it's actually very hard to do. You think of other people's feelings. You want other people to be happy. You, We have this mentality to just save everybody and fix the world. Most empaths struggle with saying no because they're afraid of how the other person's gonna feel. If it's gonna hurt them, if that's a, if it's gonna upset them, or, you know, create some kind of altercation or confrontation. You have to learn how to say no. Your first impulse, you know it, you feel it. When someone asks you to do something or whatever it is, inside you're like, mm -hmm. it didn't feel good. Hey, there's your key to just say no. Speak, yeah, the lights flashed. <laughs> There's your key to just say no. Don't give your time, don't give yourself time to feel it out and think about it. Freaking say no. The second thing is you have to know your boundaries. Now, when I say your boundaries, empaths, man, we're, I really do believe empaths are probably the strongest freaking people on the effing planet. We are absolutely unbreakable. We could take a licking and keep on freaking ticking. Can you hear me there? Can I get a high five? If you feel that and you're watching on YouTube, hit that thumbs up button right now. A lot of empaths have not established boundaries. Now, when I say boundaries, you as, as an individual, you know what is your safe zone, what makes you happy, and you know what totally fucks up your energy. Once you start, because your, your emotions, that is your internal compass. When your emotions get out of alignment and out of whack, when you're around toxic people or just harsher or abrasive people, you feel it. It is critical that you know your boundaries. How much you're willing to put up with and take versus when you are killing yourself and allowing some, yes, you allow, you give somebody else the power to shit on you and destroy you and drain you. If you don't open your mouth, you, my friend, are shitting on yourself. Learn your boundaries. Write that shit down and remind yourself of it if you need to. The second you don't start
start listening to and following and enforcing your own boundaries, man, you got a serious problem of killing yourself. The third thing you need to learn, observe, do not absorb. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Observe. Do not absorb. As empaths, we like to feel and take on, I mean, sometimes we don't even want to take the shit on. We just take it on because we're empaths. You need to learn how to unplug and emotionally detach yourself from taking everything to heart and personally. Observe what is going on. Do not absorb it and take it in. The, the easiest way that I find to do this is if I think of when I'm in a situation or around per certain people or places as like going to court, right? When you go to court and you go in front of a judge and a jury, they don't really pay attention to how you feel. They stick with the facts. The easiest way to observe and not absorb is stick with the facts and do not allow yourself to get intertwined with whatever bullshit is going on. Stop taking things personally. Anything someone else does is not a reflection of you. It's a personal reflection of that other person, not you. The fourth thing that you need to learn how to do is self-love. Self-love is not selfish. Now, when I say self-love, it's self-care. It's putting you as a priority, knowing your value, knowing your worth, and standing in your power. A lot of times empaths think self-love is, you know, the, the people who are in love with themselves, right? They, it's not the same thing, okay? You putting you as a priority, you making sure your mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual health in, are in check is critical. You have so much freaking energy and life and power to exude and just share with the freaking world and anybody who comes around you, people that you don't even know, I guarantee see your light. You're an inspiration to others. Self-love is not selfish, okay? Separate the two. Self-love is you knowing your value and your worth and that you stick to taking care of yourself. There's three different things I like to do in this category. See how freaking passionate I am about this stuff? Do things that enhance your mind, your body, and your spirit. I shit you not, I take a good three hours, at least three hours of my day to plug into me and do things that make me happy, things that light me up, things that make me feel good. This way you're also, you're not only just tuning into your power and getting that energy momentum going, so you're good, you're fired up, man, you're on a freaking roll. So if anything negative comes at you, it bounces right off because you got that momentum going. How freaking easy is that? It sounds easy and simple, but it is actually very, very difficult to do. It takes some time and it takes some practice. Let's do a quick recap here before I tell you about some other really cool super stuff. Learn how to say no and not feel bad about it. Two, know what your boundaries are and fucking love yourself enough to enforce them and stick to them. Three, observe, do not absorb. It ain't your, your take on to make everybody happy and fix everybody and save the freaking world. Your responsibility, I shit you freaking not, is to take care of you and light you the fuck up. You know what the positive end result of that is? Ah, you beam, you glow. That is how you help others, not by killing and squashing yourself. Four, self-love, self-care, because you are fucking worth it. So I told you in the beginning of the video, if you're really interested in really powering yourself up and shifting from that quiet, introverted person who allows toxic people and other things to just completely F up your life, basically what it's doing is preventing you from living your life, from being you, experiencing the, the you on a deep soul level. The world has so many phenomenal freaking things to offer out there. But if you're still stuck in here, in that shell, don't know how to defend yourself, don't know how to repel people, don't know how to tune into or even have yet to discover just how much of a freaking badass warrior you are, I think next week, depending on the time frame of this video, I got two things for you. One, I have an online live training Training course coming up. The link for that will be underneath. And then I also, I'm going to include a freebie for you on various different ways as empaths can protect and shield themselves from negative energy. Critical to freaking learn. Check out the links that are below because they are made from my heart to yours. So I got a question for you. I do these videos and I like to make them interactive. 
Let's do some relationship building here. The only way that is gonna happen is if you comment below. So comment and talk to me. I got two questions for you. One, if you feel that you are totally in tune with your energy and you own it and you rock it and you just, you know who the fuck you are, you know what your passion and your purpose is, share below what are some things that you do uh, to constantly fill yourself and get there or what did you do that got you there? If you are someone, now this is the other side, if you're someone who wants to be empowered and wants to tune into that and you feel you have things that are blocking you comment below talk to me tell me tell me what it is that you struggle with so I can make more videos to help you so that's what I got for you hope you enjoyed the video comment below check out the links that are below from my heart to yours hopefully you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you right here next week on this channel I hope you have a phenomenal freaking kick-ass week <clears throat>